Good morning, friends. It's Monday, June 15th. Here we are, halfway through the month of June already. Hard to believe. I um, hope you had a good weekend, and I hope that many of you were able to come out to the zone gatherings that we had at the three different parks. Um, it was good to see many of you, and um, for those that went to other locations, hopefully we'll run into each other one of these weeks. So um, it's good to start to begin to get back together. It's kind of been a long road. So this morning, the coffee mug that I wanted to share with you guys is one of my favorites. I probably say that every time, but I really love this one. It says Jesus and coffee. Kind of like the perfect combo, in my opinion anyway. Um, and this mug was given to me as a Christmas gift from a sweet friend. Her name is Becca, and she was in our youth group when we moved out to Colorado, and she, now she's in her mid-30s. She um, is like a, another daughter, and so um, she knows the things that I love, and when she gave me this, it just kind of summed it up. So this morning, I, um, as we enjoy our cup of coffee, I want to read um, a poem that, I, that came through. Um, over the last couple months I uh, came across this and it says we've all been exposed and it's a poem by Sarah Bournes B-O-U-R-N-S so listen as I read it says we've all been exposed not necessarily to the virus maybe who even knows we've all been exposed by the virus corona is exposing us exposing our weak sides exposing our dark sides Exposing what normally lays far beneath the surface of our souls, hidden by the invisible masks we wear, now exposed by the paper masks we can't hide far enough behind. Corona is exposing our addiction to comfort, our obsession with control, our compulsion to hoard, our protection of self. Corona is peeling back our layers, tearing down our walls, revealing our illusions, leveling our best laid plans. Corona is exposing the gods we worship, our health, our hurry, our sense of security, our favorite lies, our secret lusts, our misplaced trust. Corona is calling everything into question. What is the church without a building? What is my worth without an income? How do we plan without certainty? How do we love despite risk? Corona is exposing me my mindless numbing, my endless scrolling, my careless words, my fragile nerves. We've all been exposed, our junk laid bare, our fears made known, the band-aid torn, the masquerade done. So what now? What's left? Clean hands, clear eyes, tender hearts. What Corona reveals, God can heal. Come, Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. And it's a poem, but it's also a prayer. Uh, as we take a look in the mirror, we realize we've learned about ourselves. Um, this has stretched all of us. And, and we know that God wants to use all things together for our good, according to his purpose. And his plan and purpose is to draw us closer to him, to keep us dependent on him, and to help us grow to be more like him by the work of his Holy Spirit in our lives. And the only way we know that that's beginning to happen is when we face difficulties um, and we realize, wow, I would have reacted in such a way, but now God has really given me victory and he's giving me the fruit of his spirit, love, joy, peace, patience. So, um, I just wanted to challenge you with that reading. Um, I think as parents and as believers, stopping and thinking now that we're in the green zone and we're you know beginning to mingle and be around people, everybody's at a little bit of a different place right now. But with Jesus' help, he can help us respond in loving ways to not cast judgment on one another. And for us to sort through some of these br brutal realities that we've faced, some of the things that we find security in, some of the things that we worship, 
in place of being solely worshiping Jesus. And so, again, God is not condemning us, but he's wanting to grow us. And so I love, um, I just found this verse. Well, so, first of all, Psalms 5, 1, it says, Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my sighing. How many of us, uh, we sigh sometimes. It's, it's Monday. It, I don't feel like there's enough of me to go around. But he is faithful. He is with us. And um, he truly will help us in the areas that need to be grown. Psalms 25.4, I want to leave you with this verse. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior. My hope is in you all day long. So today, let's keep our hope and our focus on Jesus. He's with us. He's at work in us. And we're so thankful for that. Have a blessed week.